Saj, are you in Lake Town? No, I'm not. Am I in Lake Town? Seriously? What's up, you guys? Such boss here. Um, today I'd be taking a look at um, the Hobbit: Desolation of Smog. So, Saj, what is your connection to this movie? Well, guys, I'm a big Hobbit fan. I own we own all the I own all the Lord of the Rings movies. Um, we have all of them at our house, and we have half the Hobbit movies. The only one we're missing is this, is the Hobbit: The Unexpected Journey. This is the Hobbit. Isolation of Smog. I'm a big fan, in fact, we own it on Blu-ray. Also, I saw this in theaters back in the day. Um, at, 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 towards the end of the video, um, after my review, um, we're going to take a look at my display with all the Lord of the Rings um, Lego characters and a closer look at this poster. The DVD. Okay, guys, let's begin today's movie review. So, The Hobbit, uh, Isolation of Smog opens up... Um, where they left off after the after the eagles, we left them off uh, towards the mountain ranges. So the the Thorns party um, went went through an epic journey, guys. Also, there'll be spoilers here too. Um, so they continued the journey. Um, they took some refuge at um, one of their friends, uh, one of Gandalf's his, uh, comrades, his houses, um, because they're getting chased down by orcs. Um, because orcs are everywhere in this movie. Tons of orcs. Tons of orcs everywhere, guys. Um, orcs are just in this movie, like, a ton of times. So, pretty much, the orcs' job is just to hunt down the dwarves. Because, remember the last movie, the dwarves are hunting, because they, 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 they burn the forest on the... Okay, so now you guys know where we left off. So, after that, um, Gadolf decides, uh, they, t they want to, um, before all that happens, they want back to Ravendale. Um, they went to Ravendale to get some refuge. Um, as said in the last movie, they went to Ravendale. Um, but... Um, so now we're talking about Legolas' side of the story. Legolas is also in the movie as well, guys. His job, um, this plot is very complicated. I'm not trying to cover every single detail, but I'm trying to cover for all the things they want. So the, um, Gandalf splits off from the party, um, as they want to the, um, wood, woodland realm, um, where they, um, uh, found Legolas' parents and they put him in jail. Everyone except Bilbo, because Bilbo found the ring. He has the ring of power on his hand. And Gandalf kind of feels something strange happening. Because Sauron's also in this movie as well. He's also, um, this briefly, he's mentioned in there's, a, there's like five different wizards and all sorts of things. Um, so the movie it is pretty much about the dwarves trying to go to the back to the homeland, retake the homeland. That's what the main theme of this movie is. So all the movies end in cliffhangers, by the way, which I thought was spectacular. Um, so some of my favorite moments of The Hobbit, A Desolation of Smog, is the whole scene where um, all the characters get captured and Bilbo um, does a head count, like one, two, three, four, yep, and he forgot about himself. So they, they travel down the journey because that's what they do best. They travel down the river and then they ended up in Lake Town inside a fish bucket. So the fish bucket is um, how they transport them, all the dwarves, all 14 of them inside the uh, um, barrel. Uh, Kili got shot, and, and that's one of the, um, the girl dwarves. All the dwarves kind of have crushes on Elvish woman, which is really funny. Um, I thought it was kind of cute, too. There's a giant spider attack in this movie. Um, there's so many really good elements. And the favorite movie. part of the Desolation of Smog has to be Lake Town. I love any scene in Lake Town. I love the sound of Lake Town. I love the feel. I love the feel of Lake Town. Anything with Lake Town is breathtaking, guys. Um, I love all the characters you can find in Lake Town. Um, I like the fishing village aspect. And it's like how the hobbits kind of um, almost venture out there. Um, another thing I just really, really, um, truly appreciate about this movie is how all the characters kind of like bonded with their own personalities with the dwarves. Like, uh, Bellin, for example, he um, was their, um, almost was a guide who knows where the dragon's happening. Like, also, the prologue of the movie was Smog. Uh, um, burning down a whole village, um, the whole city, they, um, which they found. Now Gandalf got, uh, got captured towards the end of the movie by the orcs. He's, in a sl he's stuck in a cage right now, so we're not sure what's going to happen to him. But we all know he's going to survive because he's the Hobbit. Um, the Hobbit leads on to Lord of the Rings, and two of the characters we all know um, survive. So, which is really cool. Not really much spoilers, but the, now the war is happening. The war of of the, uh, um, if you will, the war of the Battle of the Five Armies is starting. War is upon us. War is coming, just like the Return of the King. 
That's why it's an amazing movie. Uh, some of the in more interesting story arcs have to be the whole Black Arrow, how can pierce smug, and that's the only way you can kill him. The Elvis Medicine was really neat, I like seeing that. Um, I like Burr Brown, um, which is Gandalf's companion, and how Gandalf uh, met him there in the, one of the caverns um, during his own journey, um, which I thought was neat. Um, there's two different uh, types of elves. Um, Legolas' elves from the uh, Woodland Realm are a little bit more strict and stern compared to the elves of Revendell, which are very nice. And the elves are almost like hit-or-miss comrades for the dwarves, if you will. People like to say that. I think it's true, um, in my opinion. But, I don't know. It's just an amazing movie, guys. I love everything that's introduced to the movie. Um, Thorin is my favorite dwarf out of all of the dwarves. Which is cool. my, one of my favorite battles has to be the battle with Smog. Um, you know, where Smog's inside the, uh, um, with all the gold and riches that Bilbo's uh, countering. He's looking after the Arkenstone. The Arkenstone is what the dwarves um, need um, in the journey. Um, that's what what's the Thorin wants, the Arkenstones. I, I think I'm doing this power or something. I'm not sure what it is, or maybe it's like a really rare gem. I'm not too keen on that idea, but it's a cool stone. Arkansas. I really like how the I really like how the ending really felt like a movie because uh, almost like a video game uh, boss fight because all the characters are doing different tasks and stuff like setting up the mines, trying to burn um, the burn smog with the with the heat. Um, the door the dwarves and Bilbo and Thorin all like uh, pretty much escape at the end of the movie, but they're kind of stuck in there. They're like stuck, and they're because they can't escape with the dragon. So then the movie smog breaks it out and he's heading to Lake Town. So that's pretty much how the movie ends. At the end of the day, I really appreciated this movie. Even though it's like three hours long, I love The Lord of the Rings. I love The Hobbit. This is a amazing movie, guys. I highly recommend you guys check out The Hobbit Desolation of Smog, which is an amazing movie. There's so many good characters. You see Legolas' family. You see another side of the elves. I guess see another side of Gandalf and Bilbo, and I like how um, they got Wonder Gear. I just, it's just an amazing movie. I think you guys would really enjoy it if you check out The Hobbit, Desolation of Smog. This is my favorite out of all the Hobbit movies. It's just an excellent film. Also, guys, um, there's so many good music and soundtrack, and it's just a breathtaking movie, guys. Um, now, guys, since you know a little bit about The Hobbit, um, Desolation of Smog, you learn how much I love the movie. Now, guys, let's take a look, a uh, deeper look at Lake Town. And see what I have put up for you guys. This is explain the set. This is the Lego um, Battle of Lake Town um, set where I have uh, Thorn Orkenshield, a elf, um, over the female elf, I don't really have her right now. We have a Legolas right there on the bridge. We have Thorn getting the weapons, because the weapons is the big thing, because um, the elves took all of the weapons away when they got kidnapped, so they pretty much had nothing. Also, Gimli's dad is in the movie as well, um, which is really cool. Gimli is like my wee little lad, um, found out in the Forest of Enchantment. Um, so pretty much this is what the whole setup looks like. Um, let's take a closer look at some of the main figures really fast. Um, I'm, not, I'm not reviewing the set, but I just want to show you the, the facade. So there's Bubble Baggins with the Ring of Power in his hand, which is really, really neat. Um, there's one guy called Boar, um, which he has a family he's trying to protect and raise. Um, I like how the dwarves kind of like talk to him about it. It just, it just a very good way for the dwarves to bond. We got Legolas, straight up bad butt in the movie. I love all the elvish lines he spoke, um, which is an amazing character. Cycle. Also, guys, there is a uh, um, very cool um, uh, woodland elf from the Barrel Run, which is cool. We have Thorn Oaken Shield. Hold on, guys. Here's Thorn, the leader of the group, which is an amazing minifigure right there. I love Thorn. Here we have one of the orcs. Not the orcs, we have the guard of Lake Town, which is cool. And then we have on top of here, we have the orc kind of invading. Okay, they found the hobbits. Who oh, found the dwarves. And here, this is where you can find the master 
of Lake Town. He always has like a little, uh, he's a little bit like a rabbit teeth, you know, which is really cool because it's Middle Earth. I just love this minifigure. It's one of my favorite minifigures of all time. This is a amazing figure. The whole movie is spectacular, and I love Lake Town, guys. Um, this whole side of the building, like you can like have the characters escape, you know. Um, that's why the Riddlers in there right this, now. This whole facade is one of my favorite things of Lake Town. Like Lake Town is my favorite, absolute one of my favorite locations in the Lord of the Rings. And why not own the set? So yeah. Over here, guys, I'm gonna show you some other things, um, some fun facts about the Lord of the Rings since you saw all the minifigures um, of Lake Town. Um, let's introduce you guys to some of the cool elements. Over here, we have Gandalf on a horse because it's a key moment because Gandalf likes to ride horses, by the way. And also, fun fact about Gandalf, he's also he's also Magneto, guys. If you don't know that, Ian McKellen is Magneto. So you have Magneto and Gandalf. So I need to get the uh, Hasbro figure now because of uh, Magneto, because he's Gandalf, which is really cool. And Gandalf is one of my favorite characters in the Lord of the Rings. So there he is with this big old sword, guys, which is amazing. Lord of the Rings related. We have my sick figure, really cool. Um, I just really want to show you these uh, Lord of the Rings figures because I don't think people... Um, have played too close to the home in 2020 to see how they age. But it's my stick fig, this is Saj's the stick fig because he had his, some of my favorite elements of my figure, the blaster because it represents Star Wars, guitar because I love heavy metal, and uh, Star Wars heavy metal, my favorite things, and I have a Lego mini figure. So that's my little stick fig I'm going to keep in the office. Over here, um, representing the Hobbit, we have the map. We have Smeagol and Golem. I have Golem, the one smiling. Uh, Smeagol is. Um, I think it's the Smeagol, this is a Golem right there, which is like frustrated with Smeagol, Golem, and Smeagol. Well, because Smeagol's more angry, I just built Golem as the fish, and Smeagol as the bone. And there's some of the outfits um, represented in the movie, which is cool. And some capes, too, representing the Lord of the Rings. Other than that, guys, um, I'm out of here. But before I'm going to close with the video, I forgot to show you the DVD of... Um, this is what the movie poster looks like of the Lord of the Rings, of The Hobbit, Desolation of Smog. Um, it's Peter Jackson's movie, by the way. Um, it has Gandalf sm uh, smoking the weed pipe. Um, we also have uh, Burn with the Black Arrow. We have Bilbo Baggins in his blue nightgown. Um, we have Thor and Orkin Shield holding a sword, Legolas. And we have the case. Inside the case, we find two discs, which is the special features. And the main movie itself, Lord of the Rings. It's cool. And I don't think the DVD is in here. I'm not mistaken. It could be underneath one of these DVDs, but yeah. So this is the Lord of the um, the Hobbit, definitely in a smog movie. In the back is a bunch of the movie f features in PG-13. And that, guys, I'm out of here. And hopefully you guys do can subscribe to such a boss more reviews like this in the future. Also, guys, leave in the comments if you really enjoy Lord of the Rings as much as I do. And this is just has been an amazing journey. Um, stay tuned for uh, my punishment for, for the Royal Rumble and my um, uh, Battle of the Five Armies review, which will come out sometime next week. Other than, other than that, guys, I'm out of here. And like and subscribe. And I'll see you later. Bye.